Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another server banner. This banner style is one that's applicable to a lot of different genres of communities as there's no one set style to it. For example, there's no anime characters, no game characters, it's just text and colors. Now this design is pretty easy to make and you can use it in info channels, announcements, etc. So without really any further ado, let's get into the tutorial. I'm going to start out by going to File, New, and we're going to want to make this at 1100 Oops. by 180 for the height. Then click Create. We don't need the background, so that can be removed. We're going to go over to our color picker, and we want F3, F3, F3 for our first color. Go to the rounded rectangle. Doesn't matter what size it is right now because we're going to go ahead and adjust this. Making the width 1052. And the height, we're going to make this 180 so it fills the entire portion there. I'm going to put it about here. And we want the edges to be at about 17. Great. So we go ahead and name this the base. We can group this and name this the base layer. And let's make this say red. I'm going to create a new layer, and the color we're going to be using this time is this blue one, 5CA6E4. Hit OK. We're going to go over to Runner Rectangle once again. We're going to drop it down. Doesn't matter what size you pick because you're going to be editing the size here in just a moment. For this part, we're going to make it 287 for the width. And for the height, we're going to make it, say, 78. This piece is going to be touching this end. It's going to be sticking off, kind of like a tail, as you saw. And we'll make sure it is centered. So drag it up until you get the little purple guiding line telling you that it is centered. We'll name this the tail. We'll group this, and we'll name this the center section. And let's make this blue, because why not? Next part, create a new layer once again. We're going to go back over to the rounded rectangle. We're going to drop it down. And this time, we're going to make this 812 by 138. And this one, we're going to center it as well. We're going to drag it over a bit so it's about even on all sides. Perfect. Make sure 17 pixels for the corners. Everything's going to have the same corners across this design here. And we'll call this the base. Perfect. That's done for now. We can create another new layer. We'll call this the fold or crease. Let's make this yellow. And we're going to go back to our initial color here, F3, F3, F3. Hit OK. This time, we're going to be using a regular rectangle tool. And this design right here is going to be the most complicated one that we have in this entire banner. So let's just drop this down. It's not overly complicated, but it's a few more steps to just dropping a bunch of shapes down like we were doing for everything else. So the width is 61, and then the height, we're going to want to have it at 148. You can even go to 150 to give it a little bit more length. It doesn't really matter. Once again, hold shift as you drag it. I should have mentioned that before. So that you get equal proportions as you move things around. Perfect. And we'll call this the fold base. Create a new layer. And then with this new layer, we're going to go back over to the rectangle tool. We're going to swap over to our blue. Go over to stroke. Click blue. Fill. Hide the fill, you don't need that. Pixels, about one pixel, maybe two pixels. Uh, one pixel it is a little hard to see in a server unless you're on mobile. So it's up to you if you want to go one, two. I'm going to keep it at one. But as I mentioned, it's up to you how you want to approach it. And let's see, the way we want to organize this is just about there. And to make sure we're actually lining up properly, I'm going to add a quick drop shout to this which we are going to come back to in just a moment. That's fine. Rectangle. Perfect. So this side is completely lining up properly, just as we want it. 
we can come over here and rasterize that. Come down here and delete the parts that are sticking outside of the initial frame. Because we want this to have a look of having been stitched on over the top of this other section. Delete that. And this left side is the good side, so we're going to keep that. So delete this other side. Then do Control J. I have to highlight it with the rectangular marquee tool. Then go back to your move tool and hold shift as you drag it over. And make sure it's four pixels across again. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And let me just double check. Yep. We'll call this the stitching. Stitching, merge this down. And it's better to keep it all into one layer because this blue and this blue, you're likely going to want to swap for future designs. So if you keep it simple, you can just go blending options, color overlay, once it pops up, there we go, color overlay, and you can make it say red or pink or whichever in the future, because it's all easy to access. So we have that out the way, and now we're gonna go back to our drop shadow. And this drop shadow here is actually perfect. I think you remembered how I did it from the past design or the initial one I did to start. So drop shadow, these are your settings that you want. Opacity about 38, distance 0, 14 spread, and size of 4. So hit OK. We're going to do Control J. We're going to clear this layer style. We're going to rasterize this layer style. We're going to come over to the shadow, delete the top part, delete the bottom parts. And then we're going to delete the center because we don't need it. And I'll show you why in just a moment. The only part we're going to have is the shadow. And come on, I'd hold shift, but sometimes it goes a little too overboard. It only send me all the way into the depths of oblivion. And now for this part, we just have shadows. And the reason I did it this way is if you look at the corners of the shadow, you'll see that it's a little rough. And that's fairly noticeable. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the blur tool. And since the shadow is on its own separate layer, we can edit the shadow part without actually affecting this fold. So move the shadow behind the fold and then grab your blur tool as you should have already grabbed it and kind of blur over the parts. Just like that. A little bit too much. So blur over like this. And that helps make the corners a little less rough. Now it's not the perfect way to do it, but it's definitely an improvement of just having a straight cut like we had before. There we go. There we go. Perfect. So those corners are done. Color shadow stitching. And the last part for this would be just to add the a number to indicate what number in the banner sequence that it is. So for this, I'm going to use China Cat, and I'm just going to put one, have it maybe at about that size, 58 pixels or 58 points. Make sure it's centered. Perfect. No, not really. It looks funky. Are you sure that's centered? Photoshop, you good? I take a sword for it. Maybe my eyes are just playing tricks on me. Cool. So create another new layer. And this is going to be where our main body of text is going to be at. So we're going to do Control G. We're going to name this the text. And I would put this in the center section because that's what it technically is. But the idea is you use this as a template that you return to, swap color, swap text. So the easier it is for you to do that, the better it is. The less folders you have to open. Let's make this screen. And we'll be using China Cat once again. We'll call this server info. I think make it all caps. And I'll actually go ahead and lock this all to all caps. So there we go. Now it's going to be locked to all caps. And we can go ahead and move this about here. And I actually will drop the size a tiny bit to give room on the left side. Now, this whole left section is optional. What you could even use this space for is to indicate what the channel is. 
So let me go ahead and drop down this line. Make sure you're on fill. Get off the stroke. You want it to be about maybe three pixels. There we go. And to cover most of the space. Now, for my first example, I just dropped down the name of my server. But what you could do is put down maybe what the channel name is. I put server info here. That probably wasn't a good example. You could put server info here. And then within the server info section, you'd have subsections of FAQ, important links, etc. So, for example, I'm going to retype server info over here. And I'll swap this to something else. Let's go and do server info. Server info. Go ahead and drop the size. Doesn't need to be that large. And change the distance between the two to about here. Maybe let's make the font Tokyo. Now, Tokyo isn't the best font for this. But it's pretty much up to you what kind of font you want to use and it takes some playing around to figure out which one really fits the best for your community or fits the best for the banner. And Tokyo is okay, but not the best. Cool. And then drag a server info a little bit. And this essentially finishes up the design. That was probably one of the quickest tutorials on the channel. But I wanted to make a design that was pretty decent looking and open to a lot of different genres of communities and for it to be simple and quick for people to make. Now you can probably take this a step further if you want to. You maybe come to the center section and go into blending options, maybe put a pattern or an inner shadow like so. Just make sure if you do an inner shadow you want to merge the tail and the base so the inner shadow is applying to everything. Or we could actually just do it this way as well. Almost forgot. Inner shadow, there we go. If you want to, it's up to you if you want to try that out. Or maybe a pattern overlay as well. It takes some tinkering to figure out what you want to do. I say that in a simple fashion. But you can always go around and add more or less depending on how you want it to look. So thank you so much for watching. I'll have this template to download. Though you don't really need it because this one is super simple. But I hope you found this tutorial useful. And I hope you all have a great day.